Lucas is back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be doing both my hands. Update on lo my last set. I think it was pretty easy to use, um, to like literally have that length of nails. I think I'm just used to having long nails that even an extra length of nails didn't really make much of a difference. I did want to keep the set of nails for longer than I actually did, but I couldn't because I had to remove my nails and do my own hair because I do my own hair, girl. I do my own hair, I do my own nails, I do everything myself. So, you know, yeah, I feel like if I wanted to keep my nails, I could have easily kept them for two weeks because they were still holding on strong, girl. And now I have to get back to getting that set. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. So if you've been watching my videos thus far, you know the drill by now. Before I put on my nail tips, I will be buffing off the shine of my nails because I do have nail gel polish on my nails to protect my nails. I am done buffing my nails and removing the shine from my nails. Today, I won't be using my stiletto nails, but I'll still be using the nails from Shein. I'll be using the clear square nails first of all i must say that i can feel that the length of these honey mm, 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 i feel a little bit uncomfortable and i thought these were like the same length as the stiletto ones but maybe these ones are longer i'll check just now because i can literally feel that these are a bit uncomfortable i don't know if it's because i haven't had nails for three days which is <laughs> You know unlike me but maybe i'll get used to them but i'll give you an update at the end of the video another thing that i've realized is that you know the smallest size is still bigger than my pinky this is a size 10 and i think i still need to file the sides of this because it just it's big but anyway the art of doing nails is making it work so i thought i should take out all my clear tips and see the difference between the length because these ones are the ones I'm using now and like I said I can literally feel that these are a bit uncomfortable but I'm not gonna cut them because I really want to test out the length and if I can survive in these these are the ones I've been using for the last two weeks these are also stiletto but I haven't used any of these yet so I took out number sixes for all of them and I just want to see what is the difference because honey I can literally feel that I'm struggling with these and this is so unlike me here we are with all the number sixes out and I can clearly see the huge difference so these ones are much shorter these are the ones I haven't used yet these stiletto ones I've been using for the past two weeks and I didn't really have a problem with those and these are the ones I have on right now I've been struggling honey look at that but like I said I'm not gonna cut these we're about to test this out. I'm going to keep these for at least a week. If I'm struggling, I'll give you an update on next week's video. Like I said in one of my previous videos that I don't really like filing my tips to flush with my nails because I usually have a nail gel on. So when I file, it usually files off my, my protective layer. But I'm going to try doing that now with the nail drill that I bought just for vibes. And then I'll see if I can carry on doing that or just go back to my old ways of just adding more glue layer between my nail and the tip here. So yeah, I have tried to flush my nails using the nail drill and this is the reason why I don't like filing the tip flush to my nails because I do have a protective nail gel on my nails and I tend to file it off when I file to try and flush the tips to my nails so that's why i like to apply an extra amount of glue on my nails just to make sure that it's strong instead of just filing it down so um i mean i've used this now so i think that was the whole point of me buying this it works really well but yeah i just think i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to my old ways and put on the nail glue on my right hand and then remove the shine from all my tips using a buffer or a file Okay, now I have removed the shine from these nails and I will apply base gel on them. Okay, so I'm done putting on base coat on my nails and while I was curing these nails, 
literally when i put my hand in my uv led lamp like my, my hand couldn't fit so that's how i could tell that yes these are really really long anyway i'm going to be doing something that i haven't done before i want to do a frenchie using the builder gel which is first time for everything so i'm really excited for this i kind of do feel that this will be really hard because like a builder gel is really really hard to work with if you don't know what you're doing so imagine just doing a frenchie with this but i really feel like this is going to be a great challenge i'm up for it i'm really happy I also feel like this nude is really really nice I really like it okay so this is my first attempt on doing a Frenchie using a builder gel and I do have a comment on this builder gel I think it's less runny compared to the clear one I think maybe it's because of the pigment that's inside of it um, this isn't the best smile line but I think uh, I'm gonna get there if I practice this even more that's my first attempt Okay, so now I'm done doing smile lines on both my hands and it wasn't the easiest thing to do. By looking at this, you can definitely tell which one is my dominant hand because this side looks pretty much better than this side. I'm just gonna remove the sticky layer off my nails and then try and file these into more appropriately looking smile French lines. I must say that when curing this, I did take twice the time that I do when I cure the clear builder gel and I must say that this burns it literally does sting I keep saying that Miss Drill is not for me but here I am giving her another chance so let's do this one eternity later you know what doing these nails is harder than i expected it to be i knew it was going to be hard but this is really 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 hard i think the frenchies the the smile lines are easier to do with poly gel but build a gel honey this is so hard and i think i'm just going to change the design from doing french tips to ombreing it out so i'm just going to add more builder gel just to make it look like i was going for an ombre instead of uh smile lines like a french because i am struggling and i think it's been over an hour now just trying to get these smile lines looking proper so yeah this is basically what happens behind the scenes definitely definitely trial error so i'm just going to sanitize my hands before i actually go back in with builder gel because wow, I'm running out of patience. This is just not it. I don't like the shape of those. I'm not even, I didn't even get into filing these. I'm not even there. And this is just not my favorite. So nope, let's ombre this out. After all the struggle that I've been through, then this nail decides to lift. Like, what on earth is this? Uh, I'm gonna put glue on you, honey. I'm not giving up on you. This is just such a bad day for nails. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm finally done finding my nails and I feel like this is much better than the disabled smile lines that I tried to have. At this point, I'm just going to wash my hands and take a break. I just feel like going and having lunch with my family. Not going out, but I'm just going to go have lunch with my family because I'm really over these nails. I'm a person who always does my nails on one go, but I feel like I'm so frustrated with these that I need a break in order for me to come back with more positive energy and maybe I will enjoy doing these. Maybe they'll turn out much better than they usually do when I'm frustrated with nails because I like doing my nails on one go and even if things aren't working out i will try and try and try on one go and i end up not liking them either way so um, let's take this turn and do things differently and i will come back and i'll see if i will turn this the set around and maybe i'll like it one hour later guess who's back i'm feeling much better you guys i think i just needed to eat or something because i was really starting to get grumpy and i really wanted to cut these and just but then you guys wouldn't have content today but anyway you know while i was eating and all that i realized that i was starting to get used to the length of these nails i just realized that oh okay i needed maybe some getting used to because yes at first i was really struggling but now i'm like oh okay 
surprise you know i'm also having an energy drink that i've never had before so maybe that's what's boosting my energy but i'm really feeling good about this i just want to carry on doing my nails and i have a very optimistic view of how these are going to turn out so hopefully they won't you know disappoint so yeah let's not waste any more time and let's carry on with this video shall we darling okay so the last thing i did after filing these nails i just washed my hands so i'm just gonna buff my nails So this is how my nails look after I have buffed them off and washed my hands. I'm just going to apply base coat before I apply the two nail gels, different ones on each hand. I've used this one before and it was glow in the dark. So I bought this one and it's from the same brand. I'm just not sure if it is glow in the dark as well but because this one did surprise me. I just thought it was just a neon um gel color but it was low in the dark so hopefully this one is as well okay i've applied base coat uh, and i've cured both hands for 30 seconds and then i'm just going to remove the sticky layer or the tacky layer because this one isn't as sticky but the tacky layer on top uh, of my nails before i apply the neon gel polishes Okay, so this is how my nails look after two coats of each nail gel and this blue is definitely glow in the dark as well so let me just remove the sticky layer off the top and then i just want to add some polka dots into this design and then i will build an apex and finish up this nail set i think i'm starting to like it but i think it's still too soon to tell so So I'm just going to apply a very thin layer of the Builder Gel onto the nail. You don't really need base coat or anything for the Builder Gel. And before curing the gel on my nails, I should have opened this beforehand, but I'm just going to add these onto my nail on the uncured gel. I am finally done building the apex of these nails like wow these are thick these are so thick oh my goodness I'm just gonna remove the sticky layer because I am struggling to do anything like it's so annoying oh my gosh I've never been so annoyed with nails in such a long time and then after removing the sticky layer off the top of these nails I'm just gonna file them down because wow child these are thicker than a snicker And I'm finally done filing and buffing these nails. Oh my goodness, so much work. But then I've also um, seen this hack on YouTube that if you apply acetone on your nails after filing and buffing them, they actually remove these scratches. I'm not sure if you can see them on camera, but apparently they remove or they smoothen out these scratches. So I'm just going to try that. Yeah, I can kind of still see the scratches on my nails but when I run my finger over it, it's really really smooth so I don't know if that is the actual hack I thought they actually removed the scratches but okay I like these I like they're not as bulky anymore but they still are thick but it's fine let me just apply hand sanitizer because child I'm lazy to go wash my hands now let's apply top coat on these
top coat applied and finally I'm going to apply cuticle oil to my cuticles. And here we go, my final set. I'm done with these nails. I feel so defeated and I'm sure I look at two. Like, wow, these nails were really not fun to do. And you know what's sad? I actually prepped my nails so that these nails could last. I did not use any peel off base coat whatsoever because I thought I wanted to last with these, but after what they put me through, I have beef with these nails. I really don't want to keep them. I don't have hope for them. I don't think they, I'm going to last with them for a week. But we'll see. I'll see how long they last. And I'll give you an update of how long I last with these and how well I function with them on next week's Sunday's video. So stay tuned. Also, I mean, you know, when you do long nails, you never really think of how much product you're going to use because these are really extra long. And I used so much product on these nails and they are double the work of doing normal size nails literally they are so much work <sighs> i am tired and they took me the entire day to do so it is nighttime right now but i will take outside shots of how they look and i'll insert them right here so that you can see but for now i will take a shot of how they look in the dark because they definitely glow in the dark and i will also put those right here so yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, honey. And I'll see you on next week's Sunday's video. Bye.